all right guys welcome again to another android car stereo video and we're gonna start this video off by showing you how quickly or how long it takes to boot up fully now as you can see on screen is a honda logo i'm gonna show you how to get that done later on in the video but to start here's how long it takes to boot so this seems like it's gonna be approximately 25 seconds yeah nope maybe 30 seconds yep so 30 seconds and it's fully booted then it goes to play the last media that you were playing the last file that you were playing so if you're playing your radio local radio station or something from your SD card or your CD it start off by playing that when you boot it up so we did touch on the different avenues that you can play music from so whether it is your local radio station I mean who would buy this unit to play just local radio station but anyway yeah your local radio station your CDs or DVDs I mean guys it does play CD really really well it's very clear the quality is really good so if you are one of those persons who have an audio system in your vehicle then this device will work awesome sound all right so cds dvds local radio station and through your mobile device so we did touch on that so if you're a person that listens to soundcloud podcasts or tune in radio then you can pair your android car radio with your mobile device But one thing I didn't touch on was iTunes radio, which I'm going to show you now. So if you're one of those persons who have a, who own an iOS device, then this is where you come in. All right, so iTunes radio, I'm going to demonstrate here. Uh, first, we need to be connected through Bluetooth. So we're going to stream from our mobile device through A2DP. So let's make sure this is connected. And I'm going to play one of the tracks on the albums of iTunes Radio. All right, so there it is, like any other radio station. And you are able to skip through the tracks. You're listening to iTunes Radio. There it is, it's proof, iTunes Radio. So yeah, you can skip through the tracks and listen to what you want to listen. If you don't want to hear that, you can move on to something else. So whether it's podcasts, talk shows, music, whatever. You're listening to iTunes Radio. That's your iTunes Radio. You only need five plays to go 74 yards. Hudson Mason on first down throws 48 yards to Chris Conley. Man covered down the left side. All right, so this is Four for the persons later. with Thank iOS you. devices. So your iPhones, iPods, iPads will work with this device. Alrighty. So the next thing is this cable. And this connects to your older iOS devices, of course. So this is your regular 30-pin connector. This ships with the device, ships with the radio. But if you have an iOS, well, 
if you have an iPhone 5, 5S, or a newer version of the iOS device, then you can get this 30 pin adapter, 30 pin to lightning adapter from the Apple Store. It's available on uh, Amazon as well, so wherever. But you can get this, connect to that cable, and you can plug up your iPhone 5, iPhone 5S, whatever. So that's the cable that shipped with the radio. So even though it's Android, they were looking out for iOS users. So on the display, that screen, that 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 app that looks like a iPod, you tap it, nothing happens because there's nothing connected. However, when we connect our iPhone here, and then tap it again, what it does is to load everything, every album, every track that's on the iOS device. So, from here you can see, there it is, Louis V, highlighted in blue, that's plain. And if we go to our device, our mobile device, so music, and we will go to albums, and there it is, the same track playing. So you can skip through. You can search for the tracks using the mobile device. So no need to use a player for this. So you're in a car driving, you don't you don't need to lean over to tap the screen, you can just use your mobile device. However, if somebody else is in the car and they want to skip the track, they're free to do so using the buttons on screen. So that's using a cable, guys. So for instance, you're done using a cable. You don't want to you don't want to use the cable. It's very I don't know, whatever, but you don't want to use a cable. You can always disconnect and continue to play using Bluetooth and it's going to play the same track that was playing last. And again with the buttons from the Bluetooth option, you can skip stop play as well as you can use the buttons on the device itself on your mobile device on your mobile phone or tablet or whatever device you're using to pair with the radio all right next way to connect and, sh and listen to media files, audio or video, is through this attachment. So this is a USB female to mini USB cable. So somebody asked what the USB port in the front of the unit was for. So this is it. And yes, this attachment does come with the radio. So no need to be going out in search of an attachment like this. It comes shipped in the package. So you insert right there, just like this. Well, it's, 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 it's raining now. But anyway, yes, so if you have a USB thumb drive or an external hard drive with media files, then this is another way to listen to music or watch videos. Or photos, you can view photos as well.
you go here and you would go USB unfortunately there's nothing on my thumb drive at the moment but if there was then you'd see the files on the left so similarly your SD card your micro SD card so you can store music videos photos on your micro SD card and play them directly from the player so just like the USB when you insert it's gonna give you that alert on the top section of the screen so you will know it's detected so you go to the SD option at top and then you can see all the files, albums, music, video, photos, whatever is stored on the SD card. So radio, CD, pairing, USB, SD. And if you download music or files on the device itself, then INAND. And it will show you everything that's stored on the device. So next up is this wireless dongle. This is the Wi-Fi dongle that's shipped with the device. You can take it out, of course. So if you have something that's stronger, you can replace it or if it's broken or damaged you can replace it if you also have a USB 3G 4G stick then you can use it instead of using Wi-Fi so there it is that's your Wi-Fi dongle I shipped with a device and this is one way of connecting wirelessly so if you are in an area that supports WiMAX or LTE or HSPA plus any one of those services, then you can use one of these devices a portable modem plug in your sim card power on activate Wi-Fi and connect to your radio So that's one way to get Wi-Fi. The next way, which is the more expensive way, is by using the hotspot feature from your mobile device. That's if you have a smartphone. But everybody these days have a smartphone, so yeah, you can use the hotspot feature and pair with your radio so that's one way of getting Wi-Fi while you're on the road one expensive way though so using this either your data runs out quickly or your battery dies that's why it's expensive but there it is there is my phone I'm going to disconnect from my home network and connect to the phone. Then I'm going to show you how well it browses. So no need to put in a password. It was already connected. All I need to do is tap connect. And there it is. It's paired with my smartphone. If you look to the top, that blue section highlighted, one device connected. And that device is my radio. Alright, so let me do a demonstration using YouTube to show you how well it browses. Let me search for a really good video.
All right, so this is YouTube playing through my phone, through my phone's Wi-Fi. And again, there's an issue that was highlighted in the first video. I'm in YouTube, but the radio is playing. So I have to go out, radio, and then go back to YouTube. Then I'll get the audio from YouTube itself. But there you are, that's my phone still connected and the radio is connected to the phone and that's where I'm getting Wi-Fi. Alright, so next up, remember that Honda logo, this is how you get it. So you go to settings, then you navigate to general, there's going to be a section that says extra settings, so general, at the very bottom there's extra settings, and by tapping that, it's going to ask you for a password, not many persons have the password. But it's very simple, very easy, very simple. The password is one, two, three, four, five, six. So one, two, three, four, five, six. Top done. And okay. So by doing this, you have some additional options. First thing I did, scroll all the way down to logo setting. And this is where I got the option to choose the car manufacturer. So out of the box it came, when it was booting, you would see this Android logo. So now depending on your auto, you can choose so Audi, Mercedes, BMW, if you drive a Mitsubishi or a Nissan, a VW or a Toyota. So let's try with Suzuki. I'm going to do a demo with Suzuki. Then I'm going to switch off. Bear in mind, I could just tap and hold the home button for it to turn off, but I'm just going to switch off. So again, here is the timer that shows how long it takes to boot up fully. So let's see if it's going to be the same 30 seconds. But as you can realize, because it was just on, the radio is still playing. The last track or the last media file that was playing so whether it's your radio or your SD card it starts up within two seconds and there it is 30 seconds for it to be fully up all right so let's go back to extra settings so general Then you tap extra settings, and then again the password. And that password again, one, two, three, four, five, six. Done, and okay. So there are some other options here. Let me change it back to my Honda logo. I don't drive a Suzuki. Sorry Suzuki, nothing against Suzuki, nothing against Suzuki, but yeah, Honda. Alright, so there are your logos. Alright, so from top, you have your region. 
So whether in the U.S. or Europe or North America, wherever, the Caribbean is not here, so I'll just leave it as is. There's break setting, I don't know what that's for. Whoever can figure it out, let me know. Panel lighting, so if you don't want that light constantly on the screen, on the panel, then you can turn it off. But I like it, so I'll let it stay. You can monitor the fan speed or the fan temperature. So you can do it from here. There's a fan in the back. I'll show you the next in the next video. I'll take the device out and show you. But yeah, you go there. There's a lot of additional stuff you can do. Just don't damage your device. All right. Um, one thing I'm gonna do is to change this background because it's, there's too much glare. So I think I'm gonna use this. And let's see if it's any better. Should have done this from the start, but whatever. No, there's still too much glare. So I'm gonna download a wallpaper instead. And this is how you change the wallpaper. It's pretty easy. It's just like your Android tablet. You search for a wallpaper, apply, that's it. So unlike other car radios, you have a lot of options using this device. So I'm going to apply this. This is what I'll use. Not too bright, not too dark. And apply. And let's see. All right. Yep. This works. So this is going to be my wallpaper from now on. And there's it. Flow it as usual. Now, some issues I have is I'm going to highlight now. So, first, the App Store. Not all apps are compatible with this device. And I'm going to show you. So, tuning radio. You may be wondering why not just use tuning radio from the device instead of pairing with your phone, but this is why. Tuning radio is not compatible with this device. Unfortunately. Unfortunately, tuning radio is not. And this would be a good app, a great app for the radio itself, but it's not. So I have to pair through my smartphone. Another app that many persons use Maybe you want to drive and you want to view what's happening, what's being uploaded to Instagram. Well, Instagram does not work. It's not compatible either. But maybe it's a good thing because you may see pictures there and you start laughing while you're driving. And you get so caught up into it. So, yeah, Instagram can stay. But that's one app that's not compatible. The next issue I have is with maps. So yes, you can do navigation, it does it really well. But if you're gonna do a voice search for a location, then this is what happens. It fails. But if you open and you go back and you type in it works. It maps your location, it searches for the routes.
no issues when you're typing it in but if you do a voice search then it fails I don't know maybe an update will fix that but there it is each time you tap that microphone to do a voice search it fails the next thing I've heard persons speaking off the CD when you tap eject it's not coming out fully that happened to me twice but that's it, it works for the manufacturers though I think you could use this space at the top to drop in another slot like a sim card slot so instead of us using or smartphones to pair or external devices you could pop in a sim card slot on the side or at the top and we use data I've found using this device minor issues nothing major but guys if there's anything else you want to know feel free to drop me a comment to send me an email ask whatever question you want to ask let me know what you think about the video about the device and remember guys subscribe leave your comments share like this video Thank you for watching.